Hello. Hello there. Well, here we are again in 2020. Yeah. A little bit different this year, what with COVID and all. It is a bit different. Usually we'd be at the premiere on the red carpet. Um, we'd be at the photo booth with your friends and family. And you'd all be here. But tonight we've come to your house. Tonight we're filming from Kwandamooka country. This is a place where for thousands of years, people have told stories about land, sea, sky, the waters of this place. So we want to acknowledge elders past, present and emerging as we gather to tell stories and look at the great work that you've done. Laura, you've yeah. been an ambassador for quite a few years of yeah, the Cicada Film Festival. Yeah, about three years now I've been an ambassador and oh man, it's been just such a joy over the years just to be able to see youth of all different ages just be able to project their voice about things which mean so much to them. Cicadas are only tiny little creatures but they make a big noise which is what we all need to do about the environment. It's an incredible time, so much change going on. We mm. started the year with the bushfires, it's been hot and then all sorts of things with COVID. So everyone working together is what the Cicada Film Festival is all about. Yeah, exactly. The judges have been busy too, haven't they? Yeah, so we've had all different judges. So usually every year we have the judges um, involve all different people. So we've got people from an environmental education background, science communication, videography, filmmaking, marketing, and we even have some of the previous winners from last year. It's a big diverse range of people and they use criteria, which is very important because some of the films are fantastic and yet the criteria are the things that mm. the judges are looking for. Sponsors are a really important part of the Cicada Film Festival. Thanks to all our sponsors. We've got some great prizes as oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> so why not settle in, enjoy. Grab some popcorn. And we'll be with you as we go through the winners through the various categories. Thanks so much for joining mm -hmm. us. All right, let's get shrilling. So tonight for the Cicada Awards, we've got quite a few categories to go through. Yeah, so we have our under 14s ocean category as well as our under 14s general category. We have the open oceans and the open general. And for each of these categories, we have a first, second and third as well as encore awards. We've got some great prizes to go through. So let's get down to it and we'll start with the under 14 ocean. films look if you haven't already jump online and have a little squiz so let's have a look at the encore award with event cinema passes and they go to one more balloon equals one less turtle abby cubank in third place with a 200 dollars cash prize from i photograph magic Goes to Screen for Coral by Ocean Wilkins. In second place, with a $300 cash prize from Jindabara on Kuchimadle Island, goes to Dugongs of Morton Bay by Andy Rose Lima Elliott. And in first place, with a $500 cash prize from Mangrove Man, the sponsors, mm -hmm. the winner is... Overfishing Morton Bay by Charles McKee.
Velveteen General category, we have three Encore Awards and the recipients will receive event cinema passes. So the first is Littering is Trash with Damien Bennett and Cowan Sharp. Next we have Cleveland Joey Scouts Koala News, Cleveland Joey Scouts and To Be or Not To Be. James Main, Jonathan Coleman and Lucas Want. Congratulations all of you. In third place with a $200 cash prize from Stephen Henry Photography goes to... Trees for Bees, Jade Gaeta. In second place with a $300 cash prize from Ethics Fun goes to... How to be food smart, Ted Baber. And in first place, with a $500 prize from Wildlife Preservation Society of Queensland Bayside Branch. The Outdoor Classroom Down Under, Junior High Movie Team. Well, the under 14s were tremendous, weren't they, Laura? They were so good. Now we're on to the opens category. Now this is for filmmakers between the age of 14 to 25. So let's start with the open oceans. Okay, so let's get down to the awards. In third place, with a $200 voucher from Curlew Cafe, Coochie Mudlow Island, the winner is... My Invention to Solve the Problem of the Crown of Thorns Starfish by Grace Bellachioma. In second place, with a $300 Cash prize from Redcliffe Environmental Forum, we have... Remember, by Sadie Keynes Henry and Lily Matheson. And in first place, with a $500 cash prize from the Moreton Bay Foundation, the winner is... The War Against Single-Use Plastics by Luke Cunningham. Now onto the open general category. There are so many films in this category. Watch.
Well, they all looked tremendous. So good that there are actually four Encore Awards for this category, each receiving event cinema passes. First, we have Amazing Insects from Eli Baber. Then, The Devastating Impacts of Deforestation by Kaylee Ryder, Elise Dobson, Esme Henry. Next, Roadkill by Noah Kubank. And the final of the uh, Encore Awards goes to Koalas in Southeast Queensland by Miller Villanueva. In third place, with a $200 cash prize from Biro, Birds, Injured, Rehabilitated and Orphaned, a great environmental group, and the prize goes to... How to Reduce Waste by Francesca Wyatt. In second place, another great environmental group, sponsoring for $300, Ecla. Epropar Creek Catchment and Land Care. The winner goes to... Be the Voice for Those Who Cannot Speak for Themselves by Ebony Matheson and Tyrone Valance. First place, with a $500 cash prize from another great environmental group, QWELK, Queensland Water and Land Carers. The ultimate winner is... Leave Us Bugs Alone, Lotus State School. One of the great things about the Cicada Awards is mentorship. The Rotary Club of Redlands Sunrise has donated $500 for the most watched film since last year. It's in order to encourage you watching the films and sharing with your friends. And so the winner from 2019 for the most watched film is... No Tree, No Me, Andy Malsey. Well, 2020 has certainly been a disruptive year. There's been lots of change everywhere with COVID-19 and it certainly led to lots of adaptations for the Cicada Film Festival. Part of this adaptation was releasing the films a week early on YouTube so that you guys could watch them before the awards evening tonight. We've used YouTube data analytics to work out which of the films that you've watched most in the last week. And there are two categories. There's the under 14 and then the 14 to 25 age group. This is a sponsorship thanks to the Queensland Film and Television School. And they are offering two prizes for what are effectively the Viewer's Choice Awards. And the winners are... To Be or Not To Be, James Main, Jonathan Coleman and Lucas Wand. And for the open category. How to reduce waste, Francesca Wyatt. The next category is the Biro Award. Now this is a merit worthy film that hasn't won first, second or third, yet still deserves special mention. And the winner is Roadkill by Noah Cubank. This is the Perpetual Trophy for Outstanding Contribution by an Educator Teacher. It's in order to encourage healthy collaboration and competition and rivalry among schools. This year, that award goes to... Roy Devine from Arethusa College for the support he gave to the junior high movie team. Well done, Roy. 
The Cicada Film Festival goes from strength to strength every year. If you want to be part of helping next year come about, you can go online and see some of the fantastic prizes that are part of the raffle. Now, these prizes are top notch and they're going to be drawn just before Christmas. Laura, what are some of the prizes that are up for grabs? Okay, so first place, we have three nights at Point Lookout, Manjiraba, Stradbrook Island. And so you also get return car ferry tickets with that. And second prize, we have a weekend media boot camp from Queensland School of Film and Television. I think there's going to be some good takers for that. That'll be a hot ticket item. Third prize, we've got three Bush Tucker series of poster prints by botanical artist Louise Saunders. Thanks, Louise. And fourth prize, a subscription to Wildlife Queensland, Wildlife Magazine, and a number of fabulous books by South East Queensland authors and artists. So make sure you log on, show your interest, buy some tickets for friends. You could get a great Christmas present out of it. Show your support for the Cicada Awards. Buy your raffle tickets. Enjoy. That brings us to the end of the formalities for the Cicada Awards, which could not have happened tonight without the support of Tom, Dan and Lockie from Mooncog. They've been tremendous supporters through this whole year. So thanks so much to them. And Laura, just remind us, when did the uh, Cicada Awards first commence? Yeah, the Cicada Film Festival started in 2011 when the Bayside branch of Queensland um, of Wildlife Queensland first had the idea to encourage young filmmakers to get out there and just to have a voice. And so many amazing films have taken place. And there's something that David Attenborough said, I think it was in New Scientist just last year. What was that quote? He said, it is very important that young people are involved. So we want to thank you for being involved and we also want to thank specially Deborah Henry who's been the organiser for many years that's held this whole thing together. It wouldn't be the same without her, without you and so many of our fantastic sponsors, supporters. Laura, thank you very much and we can't wait to get ready for 2021. And thank so, you, Paul. <laughs> let's keep shrilling, keep your voices get, buy your raffle tickets and thank you very much. Until next year. Bye for now. Bye-bye.